This is a demonstration video detailing on the aspects of formatting project reports for BHM students. The project report for IET and HRP follows the same pattern for font size and styling. In this video I will be demonstrating the sequence in which the formatting has to be done in MS Word. Times New Roman is the font preferred. The font size varies for headings and the text body as follows. Before adding these styles it is better to set the margin. The left margin should be set to 1.5 inches and all the other margins be set to 1 inch. Let's see how it is done. Go to page layout. Here you can see that the measurement is set in centimeters. This can be changed to inches in the setting. Let me show you how it is done. Go to word options. Click on the advanced. Scroll down till display. Change the measurement unit here to inches. Now the unit have changed to inches here. Go to custom margin to set the margin as per the requirement. 1.5 inch left margin. Apply to whole document. Now you can see the left margin is bigger to accommodate the binding space requirement. Now let's format the font and styling as per the requirement. Let's start with formatting the normal text, so that the basic requirement of spacing is met. Times New Roman, font size 12. Double spaced. Justified. Right click on the normal style template and click on update. This will ensure that now on the text body will be of the style we have assigned. Now let's format the main heading style. Font is already set, now the size should be 16. The main heading has to be written in uppercase. Bold. Center aligned. This style has to be updated as heading 1. Now let's style the subheading. The subheading has to be title case, hence choose, capitalize each word. Italic, bold, and left aligned. This style should be updated on the heading too. Now let's style the heading 3. Minor heading has to be updated to the heading 3. Thus we have updated 3 heading styles. Now let's assign numbering system to the headings. The 3 headings are created successfully, now the styles can be applied to each category of heading in the report. Let's look at a quick demo on how it is done. Let's assume that we have completed the first chapter. To start a new chapter on a fresh page, insert page break. 
control and enter is the shortcut for the same. Let's create a demo chapter 2. If required heading 4 can also be updated. Hope you have understood the concept clearly. Assigning heading style helps on creation of table of contents in a neat format automatically. Make sure that you are assigning the correct style to the contents in the report. It is possible to generate list of tables and figures automatically. For that, caption has to be inserted under figures and tables. The caption can automatically detect the chapter, when the heading styles are assigned. Now let's see how it is done. We have already assigned the styles to various headings, I have inserted a chart and a table for demonstration. The caption for the chart can be figure. The caption for all tables shall be table. In your document you might have already written the labels manually, which can be updated to automatic caption. Go to Reference and choose Insert Caption. Preview of the caption is here. There are four labels available here, we will use figure for images and charts, and table for tables. Keep this option unchecked to show the label. This is the preferred label style. The numbering system and format can be updated here. This option need to be checked to automatically detect the chapter number. This option should be on, so that the style, heading one number shall be added in the label automatically. There are different separator to choose from, of which period, is preferred. Now the caption is updated, there is a duplicate label which was added manually and can be deleted. Update the font and size to match. Now let's update the table caption. Thus the table is also updated. Let's insert the list of figures. Go to, reference and choose insert table of figures. Choose figure from the drop down menu. This is the preferred style. All the figures that are captioned shall be listed in sequence. Let's insert a page for list of tables. Choose table. The list of tables is also inserted. Let's format the titles. Now let's insert the table of content before the, the list of figures and tables.
the title got the heading 1 style assigned, let's change the style to normal text. Update the table so that the changes are synchronized. Now the table of content title can be given and the table is ready. The initial pages needs to be numbered in Roman letters, and the chapter number 1 onwards, the Arabic numbering has to start. This can be achieved by using section break. Let's see how it is done. In the sample document we have created, these are the page titles. Up to this page the Roman numbering needs to be done. And from this page the Arabic numbering has to start. While formatting, this option is very handy. This show all the hidden formatting such as spacing, page breaks, tabs, enter key and so forth. Now let's remove the page break and insert a section break. Page break is removed and the page jumped in. Go to, page layout, choose breaks, choose section break, next page. Here you can view the section break. Now let's insert the page number. Choose format page number. Choose Roman numerals from the drop down menu. Thus Roman numeral is assigned to this section of the document. Here, in the second section it is Arabic numeral, however it is not starting as page number 1, let's fix that. Uncheck link to previous. Go to, format page number. Choose start at and assign number 1. Now the page is starting from 1. Thus, I have demonstrated all the formatting that needs to be applied on the research project report. The final step in the report creation involves checking for consistency in styling and formatting. By looking at the table of content we can easily identify the errors in the heading styles. Here the main heading is not uppercase, certain subheading and minor heading are not title case. We can easily fix that. Now we have made all the corrections. The table needs to be updated so that the corrections are updated here as well. Here, now the formatting is correct. Make sure you do this final check to create a well formatted project report. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you.